Hello everyone, it's AMS. Uh, this is going out to uh, Texas Bushcraft Forum. Uh, this is in response to the video that uh, Bear made. Uh, what we have here is a uh, condor. Uh, I believe it's a 10 by 4 uh, holder. On the inside of it, at back, it's got the molly on it and all the other molly attachments, so you can attach a lot of different things to it. It's got D-rings on it to where you can make a, uh, a shoulder strap to go with it. Uh, it's got the PALS uh, straps on the outside of it, all that other kind of stuff. But the main thing is what's inside of the Condor. Uh, the Condor is a little bit bigger than the Maxpedition, so it's a little easier to get things in and out. This is my wife's kit. Uh, I thought I'd show hers. Uh, mine's not too much different in it, but let's uh, let's start on the, the main pocket. Uh, it's got a little Velcro deal on the top of it here, a little Velcro strap, so you can put your uh, uh, patches or whatever else you want to on it. Uh, on the inside here, the first thing that we come to are the Guyot Squishy Bowl and then the Squishy Cup. Uh, these are pretty cool. You can actually drop these into a uh, pot of boiling water and uh, bake on the inside of them. Uh, on the inside, uh, she has a uh, package of oatmeal for emergency food source. Then we have the 32 ounce uh, Guyot bottle itself. And on the inside, She has the stainless steel glacier cup. Get it out of here for you. It'd probably be a little bit easier if I took everything out of the front pocket, but we'll get to that in just a second. You see it comes, comes right out. Got the folding handles on it. Uh, not too bad. She can uh, cook in this if uh, she needs to. So we'll set this over to the side. On the inside pouch is where all the real goodies are at. So we'll take a look at these uh, for her fire source. She has the Scout model, a uh, lot my fire fire still, and then another one that's got a little ferro rod and a, a magnesium bar on it. She has a trioxine bar to help her get a fire going. And then she also has a lighter. Uh, if she runs out of the butane in this, she can still use the striker here to uh, get a fire going uh, on tinder. So cool. Now as far as her water source goes, uh, she has the Katahdin uh, Micro Pure. There's uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten liters of water that she can take with these and very easy. You just uh, drop it down into the water, give it about 30 minutes or so, an hour, and uh, that'll take care of that. Uh, also along the lines of water, uh, she likes to have her uh, flavored drinks, so she's got a uh, dill uh, pink lemonade and one of uh, regular lemonade on the inside of it. For to eat with, dig with, whatever she needs to do, she has a light my fire titanium spork. Uh, it also has a little serrated knife edge on the side. Uh, we both have these. Signaling, she has a uh, peeless whistle that's uh, made by Fox 40. And then for her cutting tools, she has a Zulu put up by Rat. And then she has a Swiss Alox Farmer, uh, which has all the, the blades on it. And uh, the main thing on this is that uh, she has the saw blade on it. So very, very handy. Uh, like I said, we both have these. And then as far as uh, additional food source, she has a package of 
uh, oats and honey in here. So she has her oatmeal and her oats and honey. And as you see, you can get quite a bit. There's still a lot more room that you could put in there. And like I said, you can add uh, pockets uh, to the side of these and uh, they're uh, very handy. Like I said, this is a AMS. This is for Texas Bushcraft. Just kind of showing uh, our setup in response to uh, Bear's video that he put out yesterday. Uh, a lot of good gear here. Uh, I really suggest you guys uh, explore with things, see what works for you, see what doesn't. And uh, remember, two is one, one is none. Thanks.